Hi, everybody. My name is Jeff Roberts. I'm a co-founder of Outseta. And this tutorial is going to show you how you can start selling subscriptions or memberships on your Webflow website. Outside of makes this really easy uh, using what we call our registration or sign up widget. Uh, you can add a checkout experience for subscriptions or memberships to your Webflow website in about two minutes. So today I'm going to show you two different approaches to doing that. First things first, uh, if you want to sell subscriptions or memberships on your Webflow site, uh, you do need to connect your Outseta account to a payment gateway. Uh, the vast majority of Outseta customers are going to use Stripe as their payment gateway. So here I am in Outseta. If you click on billing and then settings, um, you can go ahead and select your payment gateway. You just click Stripe here, connect uh, with a single click to your Stripe account, and then you can set up all of your subscription or membership options in Outseta, and the payments will get processed through Stripe. Once you've done that, uh, you also need to set up a subscription or membership plan, at least one. So we have um, some plans to subscribe your users to. Uh, so here I've set up a few plans. We have a free starter plan, a basic pro, and an enterprise plan. Uh, to set your plans up, you just click add a plan, enter your details, and as soon as you're connected to Stripe and you've added a plan, you can then start integrating payments with your website. So the first approach I'm going to show you uh, is the easiest, uh, but you just come over here to where it says off, click on registration, and this is where you'll find the settings for our registration widget. Um, things you want to pay attention to are registration fields. This is the information you're going to ask your users for uh, when they're about to subscribe or sign up for a membership. So if you want to capture their name, their email address, whatever it might be, uh, you can add in fields to your registration process here. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, all you need to do is scroll down to where it says registration widget embed. And in this first approach, which again is the easiest, this is gonna make it really, really fast to get payment set up on your website. You're just going to copy this script that says registration widget embed, embed on page. So I've copied this. Now uh, I'm over on a demo site that we've set up. And today I'm gonna to show you two different approaches to adding payments to your website. The first is if you scroll to the bottom of this page, uh, you can see we've embedded, this is our registration widget. So what this widget does is it's just a script that you drop into your Webflow site, and then it's gonna allow users to pick from all of the various plan options that you've set up. They can then choose between monthly or annual payment options, enter their account information, and eventually uh, actually subscribe to a subscription or membership and enter their credit card details. But before we go any further, um, we're gonna jump into Webflow, and this is that same page set up in Webflow. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you'll see that there is an embed script. So to add an embed script to your site, you're going to just come over here, click on this plus, and you're going to scroll down until you reach the option where it says embed. And once you do that, you can just add the script that you need in. Uh, in this case, I've already done it, so I'm going to open up this element. And I just copied and pasted that registration widget embed script that I showed you previously. It looks like this. You click Save and Close. You are going to need to publish your site in order to see these changes. Uh, but once you've done so, uh, we come back over here, and you will have that checkout experience that we showed you previously right down here on your site. So all it is is dropping that one script into a page. All of your plans uh, will then be offered to your users and they can choose which option they'd like to subscribe to. That's definitely the fastest and easiest way to get uh, subscriptions or memberships integrated with your website. The second approach I wanna show you is what we're doing at the top of the page here. So the benefit of this second approach is it allows you to retain full control over the design uh, of your page. So in this example, um, this is not our registration widget. We just designed this pricing table where you see we have a, a free plan, a basic plan, and a pro plan. And then we have a call to action button to subscribe to any of those plans that I've mentioned. If you click on these buttons, so for example, here we have the basic plan. 
we click start free trial, um, we can then see uh, that we are opening up the registration widget as a pop-up uh, and it is specifically pre-configured for this, this plan, the basic plan. So that's what we're gonna do next. So back in Outseta, uh, we're on that pricing page once again. Uh, and there's two things that you need to do. So first of all, we're going to click on this start free trial button to open that up. And then we're going to click on element settings over here. What you can see is it says custom attributes and we've added a custom attribute that says data plan UID and then this value. So what that means and how to do that is you can just click this plus, you type in data plan UID, and then you would add in a custom value here. Uh, but the value that you want pertains to the basic plan in this example. So if I go into Outseta once again, I click on billing and then plans, and then I click on the name of that basic plan, I can grab the value for that plan in one of two places. One is right here. This is basically the value that corresponds to the basic plan, or that value is also up here in the URL for the page. So I just need to copy that. Then back in Webflow, uh, when I add an attribute, it says data plan UID, I enter the value, I click save. And all we're doing there is telling the registration widget that when this button is clicked, we want to open the registration widget pre-configured for the basic plan. There's one more step. So if you then click on this paintbrush for the style settings, uh, we want to add what's called a class. And the class you want to add is just OAuth link. So if you wanted to add that again, you just type in OAuth link, hit enter, and you've added the class. If you make those two changes, uh, you can then open up the registration widget as a pop-up pre-configured for the correct plan uh, when, this, when this button here is clicked. A final step, once you've done that, you need to go back into Outseta, go to Auth, go to Registration once again. You're going to, this time, uh, grab the registration widget embed code where it says Open as a pop-up down at the bottom. You just need the section between these two script tags. So you're gonna copy that. And then back in Webflow, we're going to click this W in the top left-hand corner. We're gonna open Project Settings. You're gonna click Custom Code. And we need to just drop that script into your header of your site. So this is actually that script. Uh, that we've just copied and pasted into the head code. You click save. Once you do that, you do need to once again publish the site, so go ahead and publish. But once you've done that, uh, you will see that you have a pricing page where you can come down here and with the easy implementation, uh, select from any of these plans, or at the top of the pricing page here, we've embedded the registration widget as a pop-up. So just click the start free trial button, and you will see the registration widget opens pre-configured for that plan. So either of those options works great. It helps you add uh, a checkout experience for subscriptions or memberships to your website in just a few minutes. And if you have any questions or need any help setting this up, shoot us an email at support at Thanks so much.